watching. You can start off doing a little bit of a warm up while I just give you a little bit of information about the uh, workout. Um, so we're only starting off with a minute or so warming up just because we go into this workout a little bit harder. As always, I want you to come to the workout ready warmed up. So the warm up, just to reiterate, should be at least five minutes, up to 10 minutes, um, depending on what the weather's like, how you're feeling, if you're feeling sore from a previous workout, then you need to make sure you warm up for even longer. And it can be anything. So basically moving. Um, if you're rushing around doing housework, that counts as warm up. If you're out doing yard work, walking the dog, all of those things count as a warm up. So it's basically you just don't want to come to the workout um, just up and out of a chair or around the car or whatever. And you should make sure that it's upper body and lower body that's being warmed up. Hence, we do the arm stretches and the circles, etc. Okay, so starting off with this workout, you either need a step like I have next to me, a bench if you have one, a bosu would also work. And if you don't have any of those things, keep jogging you guys, then the bottom of the staircase would work too. So just one step, the bottom of the staircase would be fine also. I am going to use the step for this workout and what I'm going to start with is what I want most of you to do, bosu, bench or a step. You're going to down, jump up, down, jump up. Now the lower you squat down, the harder this exercise is. If you only have the bottom of the staircase, you are just staying on one side. So you don't, obviously, <laughs> jump over because you can't. And then when I say halfway, you will just turn around and you'll do the same thing facing the other direction. You can make it easier by not going down so low. It's easier on the knees. You can also make it easier by doing front steps. But I want this to be working your legs and getting your heart rates up there. I don't want you making it any easier. So, good news and bad news about this workout. Good news, there's only two rounds of each exercise. Usually you have at least three. Bad news, halfway, you may have figured that out right about, about now. Each um, round, each uh, set, is uh, each exercise, is the word I was looking for, is 90 seconds long instead of 45 or occasionally I make you do a minute. So it's longer and it's going to be harder. That's okay, it's a good thing. You're going to boost your immune system more. You're going to burn more fat, blast more calories, build more muscle and come away from this workout feeling even better than you usually do. One. Number two, a lunge. One foot up on the step, bend or bosu, and you are doing nice and low. It's a perfect opportunity to make sure that you are doing a really good lunge because there's not a ton of movement going on here. You're not having to step in and out of it. You're just coming up and down. So, back knee, you're trying to get it as low down to the ground as you can. Front knee should never be going in front of your toe. So, here, directly above is okay, but in front of your toe is putting extra strain on the knee. If you need to make it a little easier, just hovering and pulsing, okay, halfway, will make it a lot easier on the knees. Doesn't really make it much easier on the leg as a whole. Um, but I don't need you to make it easier on the legs. Oh, you're working the legs still. I might have to shut up and let you focus. Purely because and you want a breath to chat. Now you could make this harder by adding a set of weights. If you want to make it more of a muscle build. All right, next exercise on the floor. One foot on the bench, bum or bosu, and you are 
one, up and back down, up and back down. And uh, so the whole of this workout is much more about building muscular endurance. So muscular strength is when you are going with heavier weights and fewer repetitions and you're building bigger muscles. Often my clients come to me and say, I don't want big muscles. I just want to look strong and athletic and be, be able to function properly. Well, this is a great workout for that. So this is the workout that will help with building the long lean muscles. What it will also do is prepare you better for when you've got hours of yard work to do. You're working on your endurance from a muscular point of view. So it is a really important element of a workout that a lot of us don't always include because it just seems like a long time to be doing the same exercise for. But you will find you feel this in a different way to the workouts that we are more commonly doing where you want to be lifting heavier weights for shorter time periods. All right, back up. So that was uh, working on the back of the leg. Last one, you're going into a squat. So it's down low and up. One foot on the step, down low, push up. Low, push up. Working on really getting down there. And after we finish this one, we're halfway done. Woohoo! Usually we're only one round in and two rounds left. So this first chunk is building lower body strength. However, you hear me breathing. <laughs>
yesterday. I knew this was going to be a tough one. I actually planned on doing it yesterday after the run. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to talk to you guys, so I postponed it to this morning. The joy of these workouts, flexibility for me and for you. Come on, keep it going. Legs should be burning right now. Remember the form. Halfway. Keep back nice and upright. Shouldn't be leaning forwards. Core pull in tight. Or else you're just not going to last on this one. 
Um, exercise number one, bent over back flies. This can be made easier on the shoulder by doing back row. And off you go. If you get halfway through and this is just too hard to keep going, the more bent your arms when you go into the fly, the easier the exercise becomes. So if you're bending them more like this, you can see more better sideways and less out straight, then it will be an easier exercise. So whatever weight you're starting with, you can down scale the exercise by turning the back flies, straight arm into back rows. So a couple of tips with this one. My knees are a little bit bent, my bum is stuck out back, and my back has to be straight. Belly pulled in tight, and you don't want to feel this in your lower back. If you feel it in your lower back, go with a lighter weight, and or change the exercise to back rows. Um, lower back should be challenged for this one, but should not be hurting. Breathe out as your arms come up, in as your arms slowly lower. And remember, we're building endurance here. All right, so I'm switching. I'm going with my heavier weights, and I'm on the floor doing a chest press. So, elbows come down towards the floor, and a big push. Try to make sure your arms are moving symmetrically and your wrists shouldn't be too flexed. Now this is one that only you can tell by looking. Um, it would be tough even for you to see how I am doing the exercise, but there is not a big angle between my hand and my forearm. It's about probably just shy of 180. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. If it's bent at 90 degrees, you're going to find that your wrists get sore. All right, we are halfway. We're building endurance, remember. This is supposed to be hard.
Make sure shoulder blades stay pushed into the mat. Your elbows are coming down until the weights are at about 90 degree angle, pushing up. Breathing in and out. And this is definitely one that you might need the lighter weight for. I didn't switch. That's going to come at a price. Okay, we are over halfway in case you were worried. 30 seconds left. Go on, this should be burning. If you've got heavy enough weights, this should be really hard by now. You should just about be struggling to keep going. But as always, there shouldn't be pain in the joints. So if the joints are hurting, whether the muscles can keep going or not, you have to change it up.
by yourselves. But as far as working out the body, we do all major muscle groups in each workout, usually focusing a little bit more on one than the other. All right, skull pressures. But very often, it's an equal amount of upper body, lower body, core, and cardio. Ideally, you are doing all four workouts, which means you're getting a totally balanced workout plan because I do balance it out throughout the week. However, if you're only doing a couple or if you miss one, then your workout is still pretty balanced. It might mean that you miss out on a lower body or an upper body or a full body, but on the whole it will work out. Nice and slow, 
Breathe out on the way up. In on the way down. And a little twist. Now you can make this a lot harder by not touching down on the ground in between. And you can do that if you have the weight under your feet. Without the weights under your feet, it's a little tougher. You could also have your feet under a piece of furniture or a treadmill or depending on your step, maybe wedged under there.
three minutes left. Fast feet, <coughs> scissor jumps. Start with the fast feet this time. Balance it out, there's nine of them. Scissor jumps. Strong finish. Five, four, 